Hi, Serious Bruce here, back with another Distance Incremental video, episode 26, and yeah, I can unlock a new type of quantum foam here. I'm not going to do that yet because this time I'm smart enough to get all of these beforehand so I can just get as much as I possibly can here. So yeah, I'm just, you can see I'm not even sure what these really do. Let's look at our boosts. So these are better. There's now a string boost, which multiplies string gain by E10, which isn't that, I think that's really good. You can see all the theory points I have. I don't, I don't think these, this really matters at this point because I'm just, well, I, I guess I'm, I've almost maxed out the theory tree. I'm just one away from maxing out the theory tree. Okay, export and reset. Actually, no, I don't want to reset this way because E14 elementary particles. I probably want that instead because, well, I just put half into fermions and half into bosons. I didn't even get these upgrades, but I can just get them here, and I really should have actually gotten, like, the gluons, but whatever. Who cares, because we can get so much here. And now I can, I can reset this, and then import, and boom, we have maxed out the theory tree. This means that theory points are now completely useless. Like, these, like, you can see, I can get this, it's completely useless. There's nothing I can do when all these upgrades are maxed. I can enter the theory verse if I want, but it is completely useless. Everything is maxed. So, anyway, it is time to unlock a new type of quantum foam. So, here we go. It's called infinitesimal foam. We now got more automation, and, um, well, there's not much I can actually do here. I mean, I, I just, I just, I think I just wait. Like, you just see the boosts going up, and just once I get enough of all of the foam, I'll be able to get more stuff. There's also another type of quantum foam here. It's only 17, I only need 17 and 50. Which is low enough that I kind of want to just wait for it. That's half an hour. Till I get a whole new type of quantum foam. And, well, I feel like I've already done enough with the theory points. I've maxed that out. I mean, even with the inflations, well, I don't really need anything with this. I, there's really not much else I can do. I guess I can, like, go into photons and just see if I can do anything here. No new Higgs upgrades. I think what I'm just gonna, I'm literally just gonna wait. Actually, this is, no, that, that doesn't do it. That's, that's just multiplying subspatial foam. Okay, yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna wait here. Um, you can see these are, again, multiplying all previous types of quantum foam by this amount, but really, I'm just, I'm, I'm waiting for 1750. So, yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, so it's been far more than a half hour, and I'm just gonna do this, and... There is another type of quantum foam. You can see I literally got an achievement on this. I unlocked entropy. Oh, is this a whole new this is a whole new mechanic? Oh my god. I didn't realize that this is gonna unlock a whole new mechanic. I thought it was just another type of quantum foam. And well, there is another type of quantum foam. I guess I'll turn these auto buyers on. Let's see what this is all about. There's reset all foam progress to gain zero entropy. And your best entropy is zero multiplying the all pr production of all foam types by one. Isn't that what all the quantum foam already does, kind of? Kind of? And then you have zero omega particles. Next, at one entropy, which are adding zero levels to all foam boosts. So this is like a meta meta boost. Wow. Um, I guess, well, we're not really... I need E50 quantum foam. I... I think the highest I've ever seen is like E15, maybe E20, so yeah, we're not really close to that at all. At least you can see, well, the boosts, okay, we're, we're not that many boosts yet, but maybe I will gain more. You can see, I have been in this elementary for a while, so I can at least get a couple of these upgrades. I don't think it really means something, means all that much. I could try another Hadronic Challenge, but... It, I don't think it barely barely even does anything because Hadrons provide me with theory points. I max my theory tree. 
So, like, maybe there's something here that's based on Hadrian's. Like, this is... These are not even based on anything other than just the level. This is based on knowledge. This is based on quantum foam. And this is... is multiply Hadrian gain, but I don't even need that. The boost I would get from Hadronic Challenge is negligible. The only reason why I would ever do it is... Is to get, like, achievements like this one. Because I don't know how to get a Hadronic score of that high. And... The, yeah, based on South Plank foam... Based on quantum foam, so there's not really much I can do, or not much Hadrians can do. So, well, I know that this will actually, um, I this is probably gonna be, yeah, it's multiply infinitesimal foam gain. This is protoversal foam gain. So, this is E6, so I'm not really gonna get this in a, for a while. It says just reform your protoversal foam. So, it's a little bit different than what. It would normally be. So I guess I just wait because there's really not much else I can do. I could try Hadronic Challenges, but it doesn't really do anything. I could try to grind elementaries. I mean, I do have six Graviton boosts, and I can probably get easy Graviton boosts. So that, I'll, I'll try that. What if I just grind elementaries while I wait? I don't think this will affect my Quantum Foam gain at all. So I'll just do this. And, yeah, you can see I can elementary, like, twice every second. And it's giving me a decent amount of elementaries. And these are just unaffected. I'm sorry if you have epilepsy because of this flashing light. Anyway, I can get this. this which, um, certain theory tree upgrades cap 10 later. Okay, then. I can actually use the theory tree again. And since it's a quantum foam boost... Yeah, okay. Th that's actually really nice. I have 20,000 theory points. Well, some of these cost zero. So, I guess I just get that. This costs zero, one. Um, it's just accelerons are gained faster. I don't even know what... I, it's just making the perk accelerator um, um, get weakened later. And then, prions, theoretical boosters cost less. And prions are gained. Most of these upgrades are just zero theory points. That That's... Probably because of inflations, because... And actually, it's not even that. It's probably because of the quantum foam boosts that... The divide theory tree costs by a hundred times. Okay. So, I guess... I could get this. This does cost a little bit. I guess... I mean, if it's costing a single digit amount of theory points, it's really not much. This is costing double digits, but really... We have 20,000. There is actually this. <laughs> For some reason, there's 10 more levels of this. I don't get it. Like, who even uses... Like, why would I, why do I even need that? This is actually still fairly expensive. These are probably all zero, or maybe one. This is two, three. This gets into the double digits, but not all that much. I guess I can just keep tripling supersymmetric particle gain. That's the only... Yeah, that's, that's what I can do with that. I really doesn't... I guess I can get one theoretical booster. They don't even do... They do, like, nothing at this point. So, yeah, let's go back into here. Quantum Foam. I can I can get this, which is I'm most likely... Oh, it's multiply the gain of all foam types, not just um, protoversal foam. So, that's actually pretty nice. Um, and then there's this, which... Let's see what that is. Multiply gauge force gain by... Um, 16 times gauge force is just this. So it's like, that means I'm going to get more photons and gluons and gravitons and everything. So, okay, that's 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 not bad. And then we get this, which is um, boson boost, which is multiply gluon, W boson, and Z boson gain by E32 times. Does that mean that, aha, um, it just means, well, first there's boson gain, um, which means that if I do this, I, can, I think I can just get more bosons, even if I'm getting barely any elementary park. Uh, I don't even think that's the thing. There's also dark flow and ascension power gain. And then, of course, there is these. Um, gluons, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna max these first. Um, there's a few theory points I can also get, um... Remember when those upgrades were OP? 
yeah, the, the, those are the days. So we're just going to get that. It's, I think it's a total of 120 Eerie points. Actually, no, it's a little more. It's 180. So that's definitely not bad, but it's nowhere near OP. It's not even, it actually barely does anything. And then there's also increased Quark and Lepton gain by 10%, and for whatever reason, the scaling of this upgrade is insanity. So, yeah. That's about all I can do with that. And I, there's one more boost I should unlock. I need just a little bit more foam for this. So I guess, maybe I just want to stop grinding elementaries at this point, because I think I think I have grinded enough elementaries. Maybe if I want, I can, you know, max these... Okay, it, this does nothing. It's this is down to like microseconds, so yeah, that's not gonna really gonna do anything. This is still E15 elementary particles, which means doing fast elementaries is the way to go if I want to grind um, elementary particles. So here is the last boost. It is rocket boost. Multiply the rocket effect exponent by 1.4. This is square root of two. Okay then, I. It's not that good. I'm not even sure how good that even is. Remember this? Yeah, it just multiplies. I think it just multiplies the exponent of that by this. So I guess that's okay. Nothing crazy. Am I anywhere close to... I kind of close to this, but... Really, we're just going to see this in a little bit. Because hopefully things will be even more powerful. I really, I could try to, I mean, there's a couple things I could do. I can triple super symmetric particle gain, like, as if that does anything. And I don't, I don't even think it's worth it to enter the theory verse. So, yeah, seen a bit.